So I think the first thing that needs to be said is that there was absolutely nothing wrong with the setup that we had. The rooftop tent, the batwing awning, the bed rack, and the tonneau cover served us very well and worked just as well as it was intended. We sold all of that. They are now living new lives, creating experiences for, uh, for other people. And I hope they are enjoying it as much as we did. Uh, for us, we spent a lot of time researching and dialing in what we thought might be a better option for us for the next stage. And uh, well, this is what we came up with. So we went with a pop-up shell type uh, camper setup for us. This is the Overland Campers pop-up shell. All aluminum built, high quality, great customer service from Jay and his crew. A variety of options to outfit this thing the way you want. It comes in, this unit here comes in at just a smidge over 300 pounds. So it's gonna vary per model because they are model specific which is a really cool feature they have is uh, these are built custom to your truck. You may also have a Ram with a six and a half foot bed, but they're gonna send you a form to fill out to measure your bed in multiple spots, side to side, front to back, measure the height of your cab from the top of your bed to make sure that they can dial this in specific to your truck, 100%. So it doesn't matter what you own, whether it's a, a little Ford Ranger or Canyon or Colorado, whatever, all the way up to eight foot bed, custom made to your vehicle, which is uh, everybody gets to play this way. So it's not a one size fits most situation with these guys. So yeah, one thing about having it completely built to the specific specifications of your truck is how streamlined it is along the bed line. It is a straight wall design, so it doesn't taper with the cab like some of the other ones, say GFC or Super Pacific, AT Overland, uh, ones like that, which taper to the cab of your truck. Uh, with that, you're gonna lose uh, six inches on each side of bed space. And hey, you know, we love each other very much, but after a few days of camping, that, that extra foot of bed space means a lot. I get stinky. So there's that. So I have this shark fin antenna on mine and uh, you can see how close we got when we measured it. So not even half an inch in there. That's how tight we got it. They don't touch each other at all, even during hard flex. So kind of nailed it. Got this thing as streamlined as possible. So this thing can be outfitted with a uh, bunch of different options to customize it to your needs. We're gonna go ahead and pop this thing up and talk about the few options that we got uh, to make our lives uh, a little bit easier, a little more comfortable, and the reasons why we went with those options. So maybe one of the biggest selling points to the Overland campers is the barn doors. So we decided to eliminate the tailgate and uh, just go with full barn doors so we don't have to worry about climbing in and out over a tailgate or opening a tailgate from the inside, uh, closing it from the inside, you know, all that stuff. So they're one of the few that have any sort of door option on the back. Uh, so. The full barn doors was a great option for us. You can swing them open and uh, latch them open as well so they are not flopping around in the wind, which is nice and uh, gives you easy access to the inside. Don't forget to duck. Don't forget to duck because that will hurt your or hurt your head. So along with the barn door windows, which are an option, uh, decided to get that. So we had vision out of the rear of the vehicle. Uh, went for the window in the front of the cab also. It's a sliding window, so we can get a little bit of ventilation. What's great about having this is with the rooftop fan running, um, because this is covered by the bed area and the cab over area, 
if it's raining outside, you can have these windows open and the fan running and you've got good circulation. Make sure you have the right fan. We'll get to that. Um, but yeah, we could suck in all sorts of great air coming in on a rainy day. Been there, done that. It's worked out really well. So pretty happy with, with that. Another reason was the safety feature of that. The, we have windows on side to side, east to west, uh, but we don't have north south windows. So if we're sitting inside, there is no vision seeing out of the back of the vehicle or the front of the vehicle. So I wanted windows in the front and back for a safety aspect as well. So that if I'm inside, I do have a 360 degree vision around the camper, around the truck. So another reason why I went that route. So speaking of the fan, this is the Max Fan Deluxe. At the time that we ordered it, they did not uh, offer this model. They offered just the standard Max Fan. Uh, we bought this and had it shipped to them and they installed it for us, no problem. So if you have a custom fan that you want to have installed, uh, they're pretty open about adding custom features for you. So we went with the Deluxe because it's a really great fan in the, in the rain. So we've been in three days of rain in this, in this camper and was able to have the fan running and uh, not have any issues with water coming in at all. So helps having that window down below, be able to keep ventilation and yeah. I would opt for a fan if you decide to order one of these. Fans are nice. Deluxe comes with a remote too. That's pretty fancy. Cause it's so far away. Another option we went with was the vinyl, the clear vinyl on the windows. So they come with the bug screen on the outside, but then they also have this separate clear vinyl window Velcroed into it as well. That way we get light if it's crappy outside and we still want to cover up the windows get some air moving in here and uh yeah you know that's what windows do they do windows do what they're gonna do another option we went with was the added bed height so they will add an additional two or three inches i can't remember which one it is um to the height uh between the bed and the roof here it does make a difference when it's popped up, but it also makes a difference when it's closed. It will be a little bit taller. It allows you to add ex you know, keep extra bedding in here. So you'd have less need to take stuff out and put stuff away. Something we do is we do travel with the bed laid out. Obviously the width is going to be judged by the width of your truck that you built this on, but this is almost a king size bed. The width is, you know, 70, 69 inches, 70 inches, somewhere in there probably. Uh, and then it's 80 inches deep. So you can sleep north and south. So you're not crawling over each other, trying to get out when you gotta do your business in the middle of the night. We're coming in late after a couple of beers by the campfire and she's already asleep. I could just crawl up here and she doesn't even know. She knows. For bedtime, Betty Bye, Sweet Dreams and whatnot, super easy. You can just slide this right back out. We ordered uh, mattresses separately. They do offer mattresses now. Um, they didn't at the time that we ordered. So we ordered mattresses that are 40 inches long instead of the full 80, and that way we could stack them. So it makes putting everything away and using the space a lot easier and uh, more convenient but the way we do it is once we get pulled out we have our mattresses stacked this top mattress that has all our bedding in it gets slid to the back like so unfold the bedding boom Bed's made just like that. Now we also still have uh, two and a half or so, almost three feet, about two and a half feet, I guess, of space here between the end of the bed and the back of the truck. Uh, so that way you have plenty of room to change out of your clothes, into your pajamas or whatever, uh, crawl back up into bed. So it's real nice. If we want to put this thing away, super easy. We just fold up the bed in half. 
And then we'll pull this back mattress over top of the front mattress. Now everything is in its 40 inch footprint. I just get under here, put my back into it, pop it over that little lip right there, and then it slides right back. And now you have your full, full hangout again. It's pretty sweet. Uh, something that I do feel like needs to be mentioned is that we have had this camper for just over a year now. So we have actually been the ones to install the insulation, the walls, uh, the ceiling insulation, all of this stuff. Uh, when you get it, it comes bare bones. So aluminum frame, aluminum skin, and uh, we had videos of when we first got it, have videos of doing some of the work in here. That folder seemed to have been deleted off my laptop. Not sure what happened there. Uh, pretty disappointed about that, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna move on. Uh, so if you see something inside that we have done to this that piques your interest, start a conversation down below and uh, we'll be sure to let you know what ha what happened with all this and so we can even do another video for you to give you some more detail on how we how we structured this questions comments concern shoot them down below we'll start a conversation and uh that's what this is all about right building community and and making stuff happen so there you have it all right with that let's close this thing back up One thing I nearly forgot to mention was don't ever forget to latch these latches. Ever. There are six of them. Never forget to latch them. Ask me how I know.